Established in 1994, the original name of the company was DreamWorks SKG. Those three letters at the end stood for the three co-founders of the company, Steven Spielberg, Jeffrey Katzenberg and David Geffen. Considering this video is about DreamWorks and the Walt Disney Company, let's focus on the K in that SKG, Jeffrey Katzenberg. This is because before co-founding DreamWorks, Jeffrey Katzenberg was the chairman of Walt Disney Studios. Katzenberg oversaw film and television production at Disney from 1984 to 1994. This is a period that is described as the Disney Renaissance. During that time, Disney made Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the list goes on. So in 1994, when Katzenberg left Disney, was it an amicable breakup? And did he maybe even create DreamWorks as a subsidiary of Disney? No, no, quite the opposite actually. The story of how and why Katzenberg left Disney is fascinating, but far too complex to get into in this video. But if you are interested, I can highly recommend a book called Disney War, which is about ex-CEO Michael Eisner's time as CEO of Disney. Anyway, to cut a long story short, Jeffrey Katzenberg had a huge falling out with then CEO Michael Eisner, and he resigned from Disney in the summer of 1994. A few months later, DreamWorks SKG was founded. The company would go on to produce or co-produce a number of hugely successful, both live action and animated films. Films including Saving Private Ryan, Gladiator, Kung Fu Panda, and perhaps most famously, Shrek. A film, by the way, which is absolutely jam-packed with jokes aimed at Disney. Since DreamWorks founding, it has been a powerful rival to the Disney animation empire. DreamWorks even won the inaugural Best Animated Feature at the 2001 Oscars. They won with Shrek, and it beat out Disney Pixar's Monsters, Inc. 2001 was a great year for animated films. But this rivalry was never more apparent than in the debacle surrounding Ants and A Bug's Life. My word. What a mess this was. A Bug's Life is a Disney Pixar film that came out in 1998. It is about a young male ant who struggles to win the princess's hand while saving their society. Meanwhile, Ants is a DreamWorks animated film that came out in 1998, and it's about a young quirky male ant who struggles to win the princess's hand while saving their society. Ah. Oh. A lot of this story is hearsay, so it's really difficult to know exactly what happened when these two films were being made. But Pixar claimed that they pitched the idea of A Bug's Life to Disney before Katzenberg left the company. According to Business Week, the pitch might have even been on Katzenberg's final day at Disney. But Katzenberg denies ever hearing the pitch for A Bug's Life, and it was a DreamWorks executive who brought the idea of Ants to him. In the end, Ants took $170 million at the box office. Meanwhile, A Bug's Life cleared a dreamy $350 million. So at the box office, Disney won that round. In my opinion, they're both great movies. I mean, to be honest, when was the last time I saw Ants? Probably at least a decade ago, so I actually don't know. But I do believe that the similarities were probably a coincidence, and really when you do watch them, they are quite different films, even though the foundations might be the same. So I don't think there's anything sinister at play here. But I might be wrong. So. Does Disney own DreamWorks? No. Even though they have histories that are incredibly intertwined, Disney has never owned DreamWorks, and as far as my research suggests, they've never even bid for them or considered any kind of a takeover. Which, considering how big Disney is as a company, is probably a good thing. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about the history of DreamWorks. If you have any other Disney-related questions, please do pop them down in the comments section, and I might make a video about them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.